Dalton's law of partial pressure states that the total pressure of a mixture of gases is the sum of the partial pressures of its components. So what this means is that if you have a container containing gas A and gas B, gas B will symbolize with yellow dots. Now if we assume that the gas particles are moving in, in all directions and that they are uh, completely ignoring each other, no attractions, no repulsions, just bouncing off the walls of the container and off each other, then this is how we envision that the pressure for gas A plus the pressure for gas B equals the total pressure of the gas in the container. So that's Dalton's law of partial pressure. Let's use that law to calculate the partial pressure of a gas. In this case, a sample of oxygen was collected over water at 24 degrees Celsius and 745 torr. It became saturated with water vapor. At this temperature, the vapor pressure of water is 24.38 torr. What is the partial pressure of oxygen? Okay, so in this case, what's going on is you have a container. It's a closed container, all right, and it contains water. And somehow, this is water, and in the closed container, at this temperature, they're telling us that the vapor pressure of water is 24.38 torr. What that means is that the, the pressure, the partial pressure of the water vapor above its own liquid in this clo closed container must be 24.38 torr. In this case, oxygen has been collected over this water and all we know is that the total pressure is 745 torr. The question is what is the pressure of the oxygen, the partial pressure of the oxygen? Well from Dalton's law we know that the um, total pressure is equal to the partial pressure of the gases in the mixture so that would be the partial pressure of oxygen plus the partial pressure of the water vapor. Um, the partial pressure of the, excuse me, the total pressure is 745, I'm going to leave the unit off for now for clarity, plus the pressure of the oxygen plus 24.38 torr. From this we can calculate the um, partial pressure of the oxygen and it's just going to be 745 minus 24.38. And that is, um, well, if I do the math, I end up with the partial pressure of oxygen equals 720.62 torr. But if I limit myself to three sig figs, the answer is 721 torr is the partial pressure of the oxygen. Let's look at one more quick example. Um, another way to calculate partial pressure is to use the mole fraction. We saw this in an earlier uh, video that the uh, mole fraction is of the gas in a gas mixture is related to the partial pressure of that gas. And so uh, if you uh, have the uh, amounts of gases and you have a means of calculating the mole fraction, you can then determine the partial pressure of a gas based on the mole fraction of that gas in the total sample. Here's an example of a gas where the mole fraction of the gas is 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.5 for red, and 0.9. And you can see the mole fraction varies from, uh, point, from 0 to 1, and it's always the part over the whole. So the mole fraction for the red here is always n, the number of moles of red, over the total moles, and in this case you have red and yellow. So if you wanted to know the partial pressure of the red, all you need is the mole fraction um, from the PTOL. This comes from uh, Dalton's law of partial pressures and the ideal gas law, that relationship. So using that relationship, let's calculate the partial pressure of this gas. In this case, uh, we have divers breathe a mixture of neon and oxygen containing 141.2 grams of oxygen and 335 uh, 0.0 grams of neon. The pressure in the tank, gas tanks is 50 atmospheres. What is the partial pressure of oxygen in the tanks? 
Okay, so we know that the total pressure is equal to the partial pressure of the oxygen plus the partial pressure of the neon. All right, and so in this case, the total pressure is 50. Um, we just need to figure out uh, the partial pressure of the oxygen. Once we figure out the, uh, and, and in order to do that, we don't have the individual pressures, but we have is the amount and mass of the two gases. So to figure out the um, partial pressure of oxygen in this case, we can use this handy equation and say that the uh, partial pressure of the oxygen is going to equal the mole fraction of the oxygen times the total pressure because that was what was given um, from this information. That's what we can figure out to get the partial pressure um, in this case. So what we need to do is to determine the uh, mole fraction. Now we were given masses, not moles, and so anytime we're given a mass and we need to figure out the number of moles, we can use the molar uh, mass uh, to convert from mass to moles. So in this case, um, I need to figure out the uh, the number of moles, I need to figure out the number of moles of oxygen, and I need to figure out the number of moles of neon, and then I'm going to have to figure out uh, the total number of moles of the gas, total moles uh, oxygen plus neon, so I can figure out the mole fraction of oxygen, which is going to be the moles of oxygen divided by the total moles oxygen plus moles of neon. Okay, so let me uh, calculate these two values from the masses given. Here it says that we have um, 141.2 grams of gas in this container, uh, excuse me, grams of oxygen gas in the container. So I can uh, determine the number of moles of oxygen by uh, multiplying by the inverse of the molar mass. So that's 32 grams of oxygen per one mole of oxygen. I get that from the periodic table. And I do the math there and I find that I have, I'm going to put down all the numbers for my calculator. I'm not going to round off just yet. 4.4125 moles of oxygen. And then for the moles of neon, I start with, let's see, 335.0 grams of neon. I'm going to multiply by the inverse of the molar mass of neon. I read that right off the periodic table, and it's 20.18 grams of neon per one mole of neon. And so that equals 16.6 .6 moles of neon. So now to get my mole fraction, it's just the part, 4.4125 moles of oxygen divided by the whole, 4.4125, I'm going to leave off the unit there, plus 16.6 .6 moles of neon, that's moles total, and uh, that mole fraction is going to be equal to, the mole fraction of oxygen is equal to 0 0.20999, I'm, and it's unitless, I'm not going to round just yet. Um, instead, I'm going to go ahead and calculate the partial pressure of the oxygen is equal to the mole fraction of the oxygen times the total pressure. In this case, the total pressure was given to be 50 atmospheres. The mole fraction is 0 0.20999. So the partial pressure of oxygen, when I plug it into my calculator, I'm going to round to 10. 0.50 atmospheres.